you don't need all that fancy equipment to solder an SMD LED. You just put it underneath a piece of metal and touch the magnet wire to it with your soldering iron and yada yada boom you have a joint. Those are 81 year old fingers. That soldering iron wiggles around. Doing it this way is simple even for me. Now let's look at the joint I made. Look how nice that is. Just cut that tip off. So let's go on with some details. Critical to the process is making sure that your magnet wire has all the enamel removed from it. I use an old 100 watt soldering iron with some solder on the tip, a big blob of solder. Just insert that wire into that big blob and it comes out nice, clean and silver. Critical thing to do. That's a flat blade on that soldering iron and it gets hot. I just let it sit and let it get hot, hot. Let's start with a more detailed explanation. I have a piece of flat stock filed nice and square and flat on a piece of ceramic tile. There is my SMD LED. I'm going to lay that flat stock on the side of the uh, SMD. And what I will do now is just add a very, very small amount of flux to the side of that SMD LED. Once that flux is applied, then I can go ahead and make the joint. Once again, I say that the magnet wire you use should be absolutely clear of enamel. Here we go. We just lay that piece of wire next to the SMD and touch it and you have a joint. Now you can bend your wire this way and that. What I do now is I will make this joint and then reposition that SMD so that I can have the wires pointing downward from that SMD. I use them then to put in lights, uh, street lights, uh, platform lights. I'll show you those later on in this video. But once again, there it is. Remember, I, I got shaky old hands, man. Finding, finding that point to touch it can be a bear. Now, let's look at what we have here. Yeah, I miss a couple times because the soldering iron doesn't go as close. You young guys should be able to do that with ease. Again, piece of ceramic or something, uh, some soldering plate and a, a piece of flat stock is all you need. Up we go, look at that nice joint, I'll trim it up. Now what I'm gonna do is gonna test it. I have a special little SMD testing tool I use. I'll show you that in a little bit. But I, I test to make sure that those SMDs are actually light. You can see them light here, that's it. What I've done for my testing tool is I took a couple pieces of uh, copper wire and whacked them flat, soldered them on to some other wire and use them with my uh, 5 volt tester. Now these uh, are lights I'm making. What I do is now re-enamel everything. Enamel the SMD LED and uh, enamel those wires there so that uh, you can you don't have to worry about them touching and shorting out. I, I just buy some enamel. You can actually use nail polish. I'll put them on there, clear, clear nail polish. So these will be put aside to dry. Uh, once they dry, I can use them. And here they are in some wall lights I made. Link about them is uh, down below. I hope this helps. There's more uh, on uh, making lights and everything else in this playlist.